two students at Norwich University come from very different backgrounds in Eastern Europe. Yet right now, they find themselves with similar views on one devastating war. Local 22's Dana Casulo is live in the newsroom to fill us in. Dana. Since late February, first year Corps of Cadets member Rodion Payduk watched as Russian soldiers invaded his home in Kyiv. He says he felt a sense of guilt not being able to be there to help them. It was February 24th. Rodion Payduk was about to go to bed when he received a text. Little did he know this message would soon change his life. It has began and my soul left my body because I understood. Piduk was born in Kyiv, but as a freshman at Norwich University, more than 4,000 miles away from home, he felt helpless. I cried that day. You know, when war happens in your country, um, phrases like, how are you doing, became, are you alive? Piduk says he had many sleepless nights. I had to check with my family, with everyone, uh, because as they declared the special military operations, they started bombing Ukraine immediately. The first week of war, his family was in Kyiv, but they left seven days later. Right now they are in Mukacho, which is a border city with Slovakia, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, and I can say that they're as safe as it can be. Talk about some of the emotions you felt with you being here and having all your friends and family in Ukraine. I think it was mostly guilt and anger at my, on myself because I'm in that situation where I unfortunately cannot go there and fight. The president of Norwich University, Mark Anarumo, says the school will do what it can to support their students. There are ways that as Americans we're viewing the conflict, what's going on, and we say conflict, the Ukrainians remind me often that it is war, and for them it's total war. So we can learn to see conflict through the eyes of those that it affects most personally and be very sympathetic, empathetic, and supportive to those communities. When war started, Michael Vernoff, a Moscow-born Norwich University senior, felt horror in his stomach. I don't support it. I don't like what's happening. Vernoff says he received a draft notice from the Russian military. I am considered a deserter in the Russian military, which, which, which leads to well, if I was on the battlefield, that's death, immediate. And, but for me, as a civilian, it's 15 years in jail. So it, it, I'm, that's another reason why I wouldn't want to return back. Mm -hmm. How does it make you feel getting a notice like that? Terrified. It's terrified. I don't, I don't want to fight. I don't want to. Those people didn't do anything to me. Paduk says Ukrainians won't stop fighting until they win. I wish we win faster because every day, every minute and every hour is a life for our people. Mm -hmm. The lives that we will never return and the lives that we're going to see in grace and we're going to remember that forever. Norwich waived tuition costs for their two Ukrainian students and is allowing them to stay for the summer. They also started a fundraiser to help people in Ukraine and we'll have more information about that on our website. Reporting live in the newsroom, Dana Casulo, Local 22 News.